Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. Today, crews recovered the remains of 36 year old Quinion Wimberley. For nearly 10 months, his body has been buried in the collapsed Hard Rock Hotel site. It was an emotional day for his family. Our Megan Key spoke with them this afternoon. For months, Quinion Wimberley's family prayed that this site wouldn't be his final resting place. Today, they got the answer to their prayers, but say it was harder than they ever imagined. It was unbearable. It was really unbearable. When I saw that basket coming down with him in it, I couldn't take it. It was, it was, it was too hard. It was like a feeling that I, had, I hadn't gone through in this process. For nearly 10 months, the body of 36-year-old Quinion Wimberley has remained buried in the collapsed Hard Rock Hotel site. He was one of the three construction workers killed when the site caved in on October 12th. His family tells us Wimberley wasn't scheduled to work that day, but subbed in for another co-worker. There was a gentleman that I spoke with uh, who was supposed to be here. Well, he was very emotional. He was like the brother was the one that told me I could go to the LSU game. That was my brother. The last time Frank Wimberly Jr. saw his brother Quinion was at a Saints game two weeks before the collapse. We always rode together, we always left together, but this particular time uh, he left out, I stayed for the game, and I kind of felt the sense of like a, like a loss, not knowing that that was going to be my last time seeing him. With Wimberly's remains now recovered, the family can move towards getting closure. When we went to the coroner's office, we were able to touch the body bag that he was in. My mother actually laid her head on it. Um, so we all said a prayer. You know, you know we, we just felt like we needed to touch him. You know, I didn't want him to be alone. They know it will take a while to heal from this, but have faith they'll get through it. I'm more than sure the healing process will come. But for right now, everything is still fresh. And it's going to take a while, but I do what I do know is that God is able. His family tells me Quinion knew he was loved, and knowing he's in a better place brings his family comfort during this tough time. Megan Key, Eyewitness News. Wimberley's body is headed to Baton Rouge for an autopsy. His family says it will take two months before he's back with them. They plan to cremate his body and divide the ashes up amongst his loved ones.